Hey guys, my name is Massimo and as always we're back with the Mustang today. We're just going to be doing a maintenance item today. We're going to be swapping the front brake pads on my four piston Brembo's. And I'm going to show you really just how easy it is. It's not complicated at all. We're not going to do the rears today because I don't need to. Um, basically I have the G-Lock R8 race pads on right now. I went to an autocross session over the weekend. Um, and I unfortunately did a little video on it but it ended up not turning out so great so I had to scrap it. But we're going to put the GS1 street pads from G-Lock on today back on the car so I can actually start daily driving this thing again and not having tons of brake dust all over my front wheels. So we're going to get started on that. Again, it's a really easy process, but I have the car all jacked up and ready to go. So I'm going to strap on the GoPro and we're going to do this. All right, so we're going to start with the first guy here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take this retainer out for the brake pins. Um, they hold the pins in place so they don't rattle around while you're driving. And then next thing we're gonna go do is we're gonna take out those pins themselves. So I have my little punch here. Obviously you could probably use a better tool than this, but uh, I'm gonna put that in this little hole where the pin is, and I'm just gonna hammer them out. Very slowly, very nicely. You don't have to put a lot of force into it. Just quick little taps. Boom, done. You just take them off from the back side here. That's what they look like. So these just rattle around if you don't have this little retainer clip in. So you definitely want that in. Um, and then we're going to go in the back. I have my 15 millimeter here. We're going to go in the back of this caliper. And we're going to rip it off. All right, so I did end up getting them loose and I got a couple boxes to support my caliper when I take it off. So we're just going to continue loosening these guys. And we're going to grab the brake pads off. These are the old R8 brake pads that I have. And we're gonna be switching to the GS1 street pads. That way I can street drive the car again. So I have them in the box here. And uh, as you can see, well, they are red underneath, but I also put some of this disc brake quiet on, which I'm gonna be doing again. That way it's a little, it's a, like, like a glue compound that makes it stick to the calipers. Um, and that way they don't rattle around while you're driving and things like that. So I'm gonna grab these here. Like I said, these are the GS1 pads from G-Lock, and these are the street pads that I like to use uh, when I'm daily driving the car. And I tend to put quite a bit that way, just make sure it's all the way around. So let's see if that's enough here. All right, and there we go. That is uh, probably a little bit overkill for the glue, but uh, I like to put it quite a bit on that way, you know, make sure it's on there and good to go. So right now I'm pushing the pistons back in the caliper. Um, probably not the best way to do it, um, but I don't really have a special tool to do this or anything like that. So it's just slowly going back in. Um, once this one kind of pushes in, this one comes back out. So you just have to make sure they're even and you have enough room to get the pads in that you're going to be putting on the car. Just make sure, test, you got enough room. We got enough room on that one. We're good to go there. And then you can go ahead and push this one in as well. All right, I got my first pad all done here. So I'm going to insert that into where the pistons go with all the brake glue on there. And then we're going to go ahead and do another one. So again, get that disc brake quiet. I don't think I have a lot left in this container, but hopefully I have enough. Like I said, probably a little bit overkill, but it's okay. Not that you really need this stuff anyway, um, but it does help to keep the, the brakes quiet and things like that. All right, now that I got this one done too, I'm going to insert this one as well. With the side facing the pistons, blue side facing the pistons. Should be able to get this one in there. Yep, we're good. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the bolts again, go back here, and I'm gonna pin them up in there. All right, and we'll tighten those up in a minute. Um, first, we're just gonna put those pins back on. Gonna put these through the pads and all the way out on the other side. And we're just gonna go back here and hammer those pins in. All right, and since those guys are right now, you're just gonna grab your spring retainer and put that inside here, like so. Just gonna push it down and then push this top side in, and that will go right in. It takes a little bit of force. And just like that, that's in. Get my fingers out of there. And then just push it up and it's in place. And then you just want to tighten these two caliper bolts on the back side here, and you're good to go. Put your wheel back on, and you are done with brake pads for this guy. And that really is how easy it is to swap brake pads on these front four piston Brembo's. Like I said, I'm not doing the rears today because I do have the GS1 still on the rears. I haven't taken those off. 
But uh, in the future, I do want to go with some Brembo six piston brakes from the S550 performance pack cars. Um, when I'm more kind of track focused with the car, but it being a daily driver and just kind of a fun car in the canyons and autocross, right now I'm not too concerned with it. So I'm sticking with the four pistons for now. I really like them. They break really hard with the right brake pads on them. These G-Lock R8 race pads are really good at braking hard. So I have no issue with them. But like I said, it's not really that time for me to swap front brake pads on these cars at all. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. Just a short little maintenance item today. Again, more videos are going to be coming soon on modifications, track days, things like that. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time.